Mid-east white sandstorm struck Dubai in the United Arab Emirates and by mid-afternoon on Tuesday, the city skyline could barely be seen in the sand. Though the visibility was disturbed due to the sandstorm, some people continue to work in the heat, including motorcycle delivery riders. The sandstorm already had wreaked havoc in Kuwait, Iraq, Iran, and Saudi Arabia, making breathing difficult and congesting traffic on roads. Kuwait's international airport even halted traffic on Monday due to sandstorms. The sandstorm also hit Iran in the capital Tehran and many other cities. Iran's official news agency Irna said that the country was hit by a sandstorm entering from Iraq and Syria. Officials urged people to stay home as the situation is likely to continue until Wednesday evening. Schools, universities and government offices will remain closed on Wednesday. Local media described the pollution level as hazardous for all groups. In Donbas, Ukraine's eastern industrial heartland, heavy fighting was reported on Tuesday as Russian forces are intent on seizing. Russian troops took over an industrial town that hosts a thermal power station and intensified efforts to encircle and capture the city of Sivirodanetsk. Inside the city, members of aid organization Road to Relief have been working to help evacuate people from a hospital while others prepared canisters of water to deliver to those in need. A member of the Special Police Task Force described the situation in the city as hell as it would be fallen under Russian forces. Meanwhile, on Tuesday, Russian state television released new footage of Mariupol's Azovstal steel mill after Russia announced that Ukrainian fighters who had been holed up at the massive facility had surrendered. It shows underground tunnels which served as shelters for the fighters. It also reported that some of concrete bunkers went up to seven floors below ground. The video also shows the extent of damage to the facility as well as debris which is seen strewn across it. So far, Russian forces have inspected about 30% of all ground and underground infrastructure at the steel mill.